Hello everyone, so in today's video I'll be doing a product review on this It's called a Telser um, M.2 NVMe um, heat sink fan So there's a little fan right here And this heat sink right here cools down the M.2 NVMe So I'll be using this one right here This M.2 NVMe This is a Western Digital um, SN550 M.2 NVMe So let me take this out So this is how you just take it out like that And the first thing I want to do is I want to align it with this Before I do that I want to use these thermal pads on the M.2 NVMe So make sure you just remove it and put it on one side like this. Like that. Make sure you don't cover that hole right there. And take out the other sticker. So you can put it on the bottom of it, align it like this, just like so, and put the sticker on the top as well, this thermal pad. My M.2 NVMe, without this heatsink fan, runs at about maybe 45 to 47 degrees Celsius. I want to put it on the chip like that. I want to put it a little bit more forward. Like that, as you can see. I don't want to remove the sticker on the top. Put a thermal pad. Make sure it has contact. I think this part goes in the back like that. Make sure the surface is clean. I want to make sure I get, in the, get it in the right orientation. You just snap it in like here. And there's an aligning thing with the screw as you can see. There's a screw there. get this on I want to get the screw alignment like that after you get it in there you just push it in Perfect. Okay, now I need to get the screws in. Let me get the small screws in here. They're little screws, so don't lose them. You need a small M.2. NVMe screwdriver. Let's see if I have one. Sorry about the delay. This one's too big. Something like this. If you don't have, it doesn't come with it. 
by the way so I'm just telling you right now you may have to purchase it if you don't have one make sure you get the screws in okay I'm gonna get the other side in too whoops I don't want to lose the screw it's going to be trying to find a needle in a haystack if you lose it so be very very careful not to lose it okay that one the next one Don't over tighten the screw, just make sure it's on there nice and firm. This uh, screwdriver came with, uh, I think it came with my other M.2 NVMe heatsink fan. For this one, they didn't include it. It's always good to have a screwdriver like this in case you want to put your M.2 NVMe onto your motherboard or something. It's the same uh, screw diameter for that. It's a small Phillips head screwdriver for M.2 NVMe drive. Okay, so now it's in. Firmly. So I'm just going to put this back on my motherboard. I'm going to connect it to this. I think I have an adapter for that. Let me show you. This is the adapter that you need. It's a three pin fan to Molex adapter. I'll leave everything in the video descriptions below so you can uh, find it. Uh, if you don't know how to put an M.2 NVMe drive in a motherboard, I think I have a video for that. But it's quite simple to do. I'll, I'll do that. And I'll be testing this thing out next. As you can see, I got my M.2 NVMe in like that. Um, so it's in, so make sure um, this thing is not too big so that your graphics card can't fit in because sometimes the M.2 NVMe could be here and that could block your graphics card. Okay, now everything's in. I had to take the graphics card out before I put that in because it was in the way. So you may have to take out your graphics card out before you put this heatsink M.2 NVMe heatsink in. So now it's completely in. So now I'll be going to my computer and testing out the temperature to see what the temperature is. So now I'm back on my computer. This computer has been on for about 20 minutes. And before I was getting about 46 degrees Celsius. And I want to see what I'm getting now with disk info 64. I'm getting about 42 degrees Celsius. This is um, my main um, drive with my um, operating system and everything. So it's constantly running. So let's see how much cooler it is compared to before. It's about 8.7% cooler than before. That's what I got, basically. Sometimes the temperature could go up as high as 48. And that's because the temperature is higher on this computer because I'm using a small micro ATX case. It's smaller than the and the other computer that I'm using, my M.2 NVMe heatsink, 
is, uh, let me show you actually. So this is the computer that I'm using on. This is a micro ATX case. The cooling system is, isn't as good as that one. Uh, that one is a bigger case. That's a Corsair C70 case. It's got two top fans. It's got two um, 120 millimeter intake fans. It's got a 120 millimeter intake fan in the rear. So it has a much better cooling system. This one just has one 120 millimeter fan, intake fan, an 80 millimeter intake fan, and the 80 millimeter intake fan near the rear. So this one isn't as good. So the temperature is higher for this one for some reason. So the temperature of your M.3 NVMe will depend on the overall cooling system of your computer basically if the cooling system isn't very good then the improvement isn't going to be that much for example for this computer it was only 8.7 percent which wasn't as good so temperature for this computer varies from 46 to 48 degrees so let's see So it's about roughly 8.7 to 12.5 percent difference or better. So that's what I got for this test. If you have any um, questions or thoughts, you can leave it in the comment section below. If you're interested in getting this, I'll leave it in the video descriptions below so you can get it. Thanks for watching.